What's up guys, Duke of Hayes here. Thank you once again for allowing me in your homes. Today is April 21st, 2023, Friday. Happy Friday, TGIF. Hope everybody had a good week, or at least a tolerable week. Um, we are playing World of Warcraft. We're level 65, going to be 65 on our hunter. Dragon, Dragonborn, Nightborn hunter. Um... It's been okay. We leveled as survival. It was not the most interesting of leveling experiences. I'd... Hunter has never been, for me anyway, an interesting class to play. Um, they're one of the easiest, if not the easiest, class to level. And it's like a good starter class for a lot of people. Like, there are, like, every class has its nuances, I think. Maybe not so much Beast Mastery. But. You know, there's a a marginal difference between someone who's really good at a class and someone who's just picked up a class, you know. And just they're they're all you know they're they're fine, they're they're perfectly fine as a class, and they're really easy to level. But I figured uh, might as well since I haven't played Hunter in a while. Um, they're okay, you know. They're not my favorite class. My favorite class is still probably Death Knight. Like, my top three would have to be uh, Death Knight, Shaman, Enhancement Shaman specifically, but I, you know, I can also play Elemental. Um, Death Knight, Shaman, Mage. Like, those are my top three. And I would put maybe Shadow Priest in there. I do enjoy Shadow Priest. I've leveled a couple at this point. Demon Hunter's fine. Once you get used to playing that class, it's a pretty fine class. I'd put that in my mid-tier. Like, Monk, Demon Hunter... Um, are probably, like, my mid-tier classes. Evoker, I haven't played a lot of. Evoker's fine. It's probably mid-tier, I wouldn't put it in my least favorite kind of class to play. Like, my least favorite class is probably Druid. All forms of Druid. I don't like Druid anymore, unfortunately. I played a lot of Druid back in Wrath Original all those years ago. Like, what are, you know, we have like 10 classes. Um, oh, Paladin's up there. I don't know if... It, I like playing Paladin a lot Every ever since I leveled one in... Uh, it was back in the Catter days that I actually leveled a Paladin, but um, they're 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 up there. I'd put them also in my mid tier. Like it doesn't beat like my top three or four, which like I said was Shadow Priest, Death Knight, Shaman, and um, maybe Rogue is also up there as well. Maybe like those are the five that I play a lot of in Mage. Warlock used to be up there, but I think I'm more like mid. I feel more mid about Warlock these days. Like, my top five are probably Mage, Rogue, Death Knight, Shaman. What else am I missing there? I keep missing something. It's like Enhancement Shaman, Death Knight, Rogue. Shadow Priest and Mage. Those are probably like the top five things that I play a lot of. You know, I might, could be convinced maybe to put Paladin up there, but Paladin's probably like my mid tier. And then the worst class, the class that I look forward to playing the most, like look forward to playing the least, are probably Hunter and Druid. Everything else is mid, and my top five are the ones that I listed. But uh, anyways, I'm Duke of Hayes. Sorry, that was a long-ass tangent. I tend to do those. I am Duke of Hayes. I mostly do single-player storage-driven experiences uh, with some WoW thrown in. This is a WoW, you know, I play WoW sporadically throughout the year. This is one of those times where I really felt like playing it, so here we are. What are the odds that uh, as soon as I feel like playing, everybody starts playing it for different reasons. They start playing it because a new patch is coming out or they're into hardcore, but you know. Those are two different games, so that's cool. We don't really, neither will the two meet in the center. 
uh, never will the two meet in the center. But my commentary is weird all over the place. Sometimes my brain is scattered like it is today, evidently. I, I'm having trouble stringing together a cohesive train of thought here. Other times I'm weird and do weird voices and I talk about my experiences with the game and I try to give helpful hints. Try to being the operative phrase. Uh, operative noun, verb, verb, sentence, verb thing. I'm, again, my brain's firing off. Let's just get started, shall we? Please consider following me here on Twitch. I'm at 83 followers. I'd love to get that up to 90. Uh, please consider subscribing to me on YouTube. We're at 73 subs. I'd love to get those up to 80. And let's just, for the love of God, get this started because I'm set to ramble. Queen Gertrude sleeping in her castle, being very adorable. Yeah, let's just get started. I guess Dead Island 2 is already out. I saw somebody playing it. I really... I'm not doing a Dead Island 1 playthrough because Dead Island 2 is so popular. I legit just felt like playing it because I only ever beat it once with my friends. And uh, I didn't even know Dead Island 2 was coming out until I heard my friends talk about it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Listen, man, my computer is not updated. It might be able to play it. It might not. Oh, we are 65. That means I'm close to 66. Nice. Yeah, I've never bothered to train a new pet or anything. <clears throat> like I say, man, speedrunners of vanilla classic shit themselves over hunters. They love hunters. Hunters are the fastest and easiest thing to level. Any class that has a pet is generally easier to level because you get a free tank. And Hunter has a lot of tools to, like, not die. Like, I'm guessing a lot of people who have never played vanilla and want to try the hardcore challenge of vanilla. I don't know, man. I think you should just play through it regularly first. Just to really experience what it was like to level in that version of the game. How... You know, it's fun to watch a speed run of it, but at the same time, you know, I watch those speed runs at times two speed. Just how unimaginably slow the leveling experience is. Me kind of measure outside the whatever, yeah. But I'm guessing lots of uh, people are going to be playing because 10.1 is coming out and lots of people who... Well, I didn't, I didn't play in 10.0, so maybe this is the time I'll start. You know, I didn't play in this patch. Maybe I'll start this patch, so you get all those dudes. and You know, they never really ever actually do the thing that they say. So I can have two pets instead of one. Uh. It should be fine. I have two tanks here with me. Okay, this one's just to fill the bar, which is like the worst kind of thing. They're the least interesting thing to do.
at least other Ted, like, you know, quests, like, they're under the pretense of, like, oh, we have to call their numbers because, so kill this arbitrary amount of shit. This is just like, eh, kill shit and heal shit until the bar's done and then you can go home. Mm, I probably want to activate that shit whenever, uh... We must get through Balakar's lieutenant, Khaled, to reach the horn. Oh, okay. They also made you really ugly. No offense. What is this? He blocks all of my attacks. Two seven six, very nice. Oh no, they've done it to trick us into being evil, but not really. Uh, meet the kind of match at the watering hole. It was actually. Glad you noticed. My dear son. Marithra, we mean you no harm. The death of your brethren saddens our hearts as much as the death of our own kind. Balakar, <sighs> Balakar and his clan, the Noku, they have shown their. Hurry it up, man, my questing efficiency. Let's do Ubers on hardcore. It's the most interesting thing to watch. Find anything Just a little bit of shade. No offense meant to anybody. Shortly after we returned to our ancient grove to the west, the primalists attacked. We destroyed them. Oh, it's a single target thing. Never mind. Dragon killer. The Nakud are relentless. Hmm. With their help, Korolev's primalist army has found a way to break our defenses. The barrier to the ancient bow must not fall. Within it lies our portal to the Emerald Dream. What do I want? I shudder to think what they wish to do. Either Shockram or Explosive Shot. It does a lot of damage. But maybe Shockram does as well. And the cooldown is shorter. Let's try it. Our sanctuary lies ahead. Meet me there. We will rally the remainder of our forces. Who am I, sweetie? Who's my honey? Who's my honey? And look at you, my precious. What's the matter, sweetie? I think you have food and you have water, so I don't know what it is that you need exactly. Hello, champion. Hello, child of the reef. To speak to guard captain here. Now go, 
quickly. Some stories never known. I think uh, it, it might be easy to do this quest here. Collect six fly spawn beetle. They're like here. So it's not too bad. I could be doing this while doing other stuff. You only need to kill three of them. Never mind, I guess I need to kill one more. Well, there's one over here. Too far away. Yo. there. Now, how much experience does this give me? Oh, hour. 1,000. Feed the ducklings and return. Okay, well, I should also be talking to people while doing this, so. Some story never told. It totally gives you, like, 8k experience if you do both of these quests together. Come here, you. You know, being a giant tree man is a simple life. Would you hurry it up, you little cutie? Like, you're gonna jump down. Let's do it. Oh, you're being annoying. Oh, come on, yeah, come on. You gotta be right up in this duck's grill. Please bring the ducks to me. Some stories never told. Bury me down below, but I'll never die, cause I'm immortal. Welcome to the Dragon Isle. Primal is from the move. Talk to you. Talk to you. And we turn this in and turn the other one in. I don't know if we're going to do the follow-up. He's going to tell us to go find a duck that went missing or whatever. But tell me of your dreams. Pizza Scout to move. Yeah, there's... Like, we maybe could have. There's a couple of guys that we could do there. They're they're not too egregious. So your bog standard kill and collect quest. A report? <laughs> Our report is that the rear flank is secure. You stand amidst the carnage that secured our victory. Yeah, okay, I get it. Oh, did you want... Oh, shit, I can still move during the cutscene. They are part of a barrier that keeps anyone from approaching. We must protect them. That was weird. We hit the uh, the other crescendo, even though I feel like this zone has crescendoed a couple of times. Do not draw attention to yourself. Avara. Avara. Don't get too close, you will die. No, Avara.
do you see those pylons in they killed our bird it's time for us to get vengeance Yeah. It's like these dudes are like right on top of each other. Why can we not hit all of them? Okay, um we're destroying Baliste. Like it's not super necessary that we complete the bonus objective of killing things. But we should complete the ballista objective. Like anytime you get these bonus objectives where it's just, you know, fill the bar. What you're really doing is uh, doing the shit around it and then finishing it at a later date. Some stories never told. Marry me down the road. But I'll never die. Okay, I need to destroy this ballista and kill. Another warmonger. The last ballista is down. Now the green dragon flight can take to the skies and join the battle. Join the battle. Hmm. Whoa, dude, where'd you come from? Whoa, what's all this about? Where'd you guys come from? Do this, I guess. All the sounds of dragons is a little disconcerting, like I know there's dragons here. But they sound scray. Huh. I thought that my spear was back off cooldown. Damn, I thought that was closer. Get him, boys. Oh, I don't have any charges available. Whoopsies. Oh. Typhoon Bringer. Oh, it's an int staff. How lame. I think we got that on the priest last time, though. Wait, you have a lot of missing health? How'd that happen? Okay. 
Jeez. I didn't kill you that hard. She's really hamming it up for the camera. You're taking pictures of me with your camera. You really have to watch out here. It's like there's a the mob density in this area is insane. So we're gonna absorb it from the outskirts a little. Oh my goodness, I'm out of energy. Excuse me, I'm trying to collect my loot. Uh, May your ancestors guide you well. Good. I will take it from here. It's like that um the talent that puts AoE Serpent Sting up only works if I've already aggroed on the thing. So it's like I gotta apply my bomb first. Let's not fight. I mean, we could fight the Colossi. It's like not 100% necessary though. Sweet, what do we got here? Like I said, what do we got here? Titan Lost Relic, huh? And a 282 wrist. I mean, it's better. That's pretty cool, you know, it's nice finding random treasure out in the middle of nowhere and it has gear in it. Pretty nifty. It's pretty neater. There he is, there he is. Okay, so it's not close enough for me to hit both of them. Yeah, that cone, that AOE cone behind must be like super tiny. Oh, I don't have any energy. Here we go. Build more pylons. I don't need to use feign death. Oh man, what are you guys doing coming over here? I don't know how this happened, but... I guess I'll just deal with it. Nerve of this guy! I don't want to be next to you guys when that goes off. I have failed. The dream must be ours. 
Oh, it's a a two-handed int sword. Like, come on, man. What trash is this? For the random dude, this leveling is holy. Uh, haste mastery neck piece. Two six two, two six two. I could have sent that to somebody, I guess. Typhoon? Oh yeah, the Typhoon bringer. Marithra is summoning their leaders to an audience. Oh yeah? She yes. For you as well, my friend. This day, you have proven yourself to the Green Dragonflight. Have we? This deed of kindness and sacrifice my people will not soon forget. 